Kid in our gripping story, The Song of Death. You would hardly expect to find a piano in the wild mining town of Lodeville in the 1870s, but a piano there was at the Indian Head Cafe, hangout of all the hoodlums. A piano presided over by John Moorhead, an unobtrusive, shifty eyed man who walked with a slight limp and played like an angel. But deep in the soul of John Moorhead was greed and cunning and contempt for his fellow man. Our story opens in the Indian Head Cafe early one afternoon. Moorhead is playing. <laughs> that the kind of piece you wanted to stop? Yeah, that's fine, John, fine. Oh, good. But I guess it'll take more than a piano to lift my spirits this afternoon. If only I could get my hands on those blasted high graders that are stealing all that ore out of the mine, I'd feel better. It isn't an easy job being superintendent of the lucky lady miners at Stone. It sure ain't. But no reason why I should dump my troubles on you, more yet. I'll be going along. Much obliged for the music. Yes, all right. Uh, All right, all right, boys. Uh, I'll, I'll ramble a little for you. Clem? Yeah? Come over here, will you? Uh, sure. Pull up a chair. I want to talk to you. What do you want, Moorhead? You better stop the gang from high grade and out of Stone's lucky lady mine for a few days. Stone getting wise? I don't know, but let's not push our luck too far. Let's get some of that ore from the Grubstake mine next. Uh, Grubstake belongs to Sheriff Fitzpatrick, and he's dynamite, Moorhead. <laughs> Who's giving the orders? You or me? Well, you are, sure thing. You're the brains of the outfit. All right, I... then, do as I say. And as far as the sheriff's concerned, I've got a gunman named Chellis coming in from Shelby Town this afternoon to kill the sheriff. From now on, Clem, we're killing everybody who gets in our way. <laughs> high grading? High grade? What high grade means, Cisco? It means stealing ore that is rich in gold, Pancho. Oh, that's not good, Cisco. It's not at all good, Chico. So now we ride to the town of Roadville, huh? See? Sheriff Fitzpatrick of Roadville is having much trouble finding out who the high graders are in that town. Uh huh. He wrote to me, and so if we can help the sheriff, we will. Mm, See, so help the sheriff. Hey, Roadville is a new town to Pancho. Well, it's a new town to me also, Pancho. The sheriff say it's a rough town. See? So be sure your guns are in working order, Pancho. In working order. Hey, let's get there. Up the other car. Go, let go now. Rough town, let go, go. The sheriff's just coming into the cafe now, Moorhead. You don't suppose he suspects anything, do you? Nah, nah. Don't be such a blasted warrior, Clem. The sheriff and I are on mighty good terms. <laughs> Careful what you say now. He's coming over this way. Well, howdy, Moorhead. Clem. Howdy, Sheriff. Howdy, Sheriff. Yeah, hey, you sure get a lot of plays around that old piano, don't you, Moorhead? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I do. I got to give you credit for getting it up here. About the only piano in this neck of the woods for miles around. It costs plenty to get up here, Sheriff. Yeah, I wouldn't wonder. Yeah, it costs a lot, but it's worth it, Sheriff. I don't know what I'd do if I couldn't have this piano to play. Yeah, I sure wish there was more piano players around here. You see, I figure it this way, Moorhead. Mm-hmm. The fellow who plays the piano the way you can won't never be up to any mischief. Oh, you're wrong, Sheriff. I'm really a bad hombre. I'd gun a man down quick as I could look at him. <laughs> sure, <laughs> sure. Hey, come to think of it, you do look mighty dangerous, Moorhead. Yeah. <laughs> now, don't let me keep you from your playing. Mm, 
by the way, uh, got any line on them high graders yet, Sheriff? No, but I got some help coming. Who, oh, Sheriff? Uh, Cisco Kid, Clem. Oh, him. Yeah, I've heard of Cisco. I've never met up with him, though. I never even saw him. Well, I figure that with Cisco here, we can clean up this high grade mighty quick. And I'll see you both later. Yeah, so see you later, sir. Sheriff. Guess it was a good thing you got that gunman Chellis coming over here, Moorhead. What's he look like? I don't know. Never saw him either. I sent word to him. Now you're going to know him when he gets here. Well, he's going to sit down at the piano and tap out a tune, Oh, Susanna, with one finger. That's his own idea, according to word I got back. Good idea, too. Yeah, yeah. Looks like I'll have two men for him to kill. The sheriff and the Cisco kid. <laughs> Cisco, uh, that the town of Lordville, huh? Huh? Oh, see, si, see. Si. I suppose, see. Si. This is the town of Lordville, Pancho. Oh, look at the tough hombres on the streets, Cisco. Hey, si, Pancho. Oh, it's a tough town. Huh? Hey, Pancho. Huh? That sounds like a piano. It sounds like a piano to Pancho, too, Cisco. Well, this is the last place I would expect to hear a sound like that. The music is coming from that cafe, Pancho. Si. Um, Pancho play that piano, Cisco. You play the piano? Yeah, Big Maria got the piano, Cisco. And Big Maria teach Pancho to play the piano good. Play Oh Susie Anna. Oh, si, si. <laughs> Big Maria taught you to play with one finger, Chico. And if anyone listens closely, they can tell at least two notes of the tune. Mm, better with one finger than no finger, Cisco. <laughs> you are right, amigo. Oh, loco, oh, loco. Oh, oh they have oh, oh, oh. Oh, loco. Slow. What are you stopping here for, Pancho? We are going to the sheriff's office to talk with him. Please, Cisco, let's pa- Pancho go play the piano, huh? Hey, Pancho want to go play the piano, huh? Oh, very well, Chico. I, I got to go, I got to go. I will come back here to the cafe after I talk with the sheriff. <laughs> but do not make a nuisance of yourself. And do not get into trouble. Yeah. Come on, Diablo. Come here. Uh, Pancho not make the nuisance, Cisco. Pancho not get into the trouble. <laughs> Pancho play piano. <laughs> Pancho play piano. <laughs> Hey, the good piano, senor. Uh, uh, Pancho play the piano for you, senor? I, uh, yeah. Yeah, go right ahead. <laughs> Sit right down, play. Gracias, senor, gracias. <laughs> Pancho play good for you. Pancho play good. Well, I guess he's our gunman, Clem. But that name, Pancho. Hey, listen, listen. Oh, Susie, you are going to play for me. <laughs> I like that. Well, that's Chellis, all right, Clem. That's the tune, no, Susanna. That hombre don't act like no gunman to me. Maybe he's acting that way on purpose. <laughs> bueno, Pancho, bueno. Yeah, that's, uh, that's fine, fine. Uh, well, uh, uh, come with us, will you? Come with you? Yeah. Oh, she's a Pancho, go with you. We can talk in this back room. Well, I guess you know why I sent for you. First, to gun down the sheriff. Gun down the sheriff? Next, to kill the Cisco kid. Kill the Cisco kid? Kill Cisco? Pancho, not kill Cisco, hombre. Eh, Cisco Pancho's compañero. Wrong man, Moorhead. I knew it. And aren't you, Chellis, the gunman? Pancho, not Chellis. Pancho, Pancho. Pancho, not kill Cisco. And not kill the sheriff. And not kill nobody. And Pancho, go tell Cisco. Wait, wait. Go ahead, Clem. I sure will. No, no, hombre. And not going with Pancho. Not going with me. I hear me. It sure is a coincidence, him playing that tune with one finger. I'll tie him up, Clem. One more for Chellis to kill. Now, you stay in here, and I'll keep an eye out for the Cisco kid. I can see you have a real problem here, Senor Sheriff. Yeah, I sure have, Cisco. Lots of high-grade ore stolen, and I can't figure out how. Now, the ore's guarded from the time it leaves the earth till it reaches a stamp mill. Yet, there's a leak somewhere which is running into thousands of dollars. It might be well, Senor Sheriff, if I hung around the Indian Head Cafe for the rest of the afternoon and evening to see what I can find out. Good idea, Cisco. I'll go up the other end of town and look over the binds again. Bueno! Oh, there, but ho, ho. Yeah. Let's see what Pancho is doing. Cisco kid? See, si, senor? Oh, I'm glad to know you. I'm John Moorhead, owner of this cafe, and the piano player, too. What is there, senor? Perhaps you can tell me where mi compañero Pancho went. 
I understood him to say he was coming into this cafe. Ah, that's right. He did. <laughs> he, he played the piano for us. <laughs> you are charitable to say he played, senor. Well, he liked it anyway. Uh, he's out in the back room now, Cisco, eating. It's that door right over there. Now, I'll go with you, but you better walk ahead of me. I, I have to walk kind of slow. Thing. Gracias, senor. Gracias. Just why would Pancho be out in this back room eating, Senor Morton? Uh, well, uh, because it ain't our regular meal hours, Cisco. And if we serve Pancho in the big room, we'd have to serve a lot of those other hombres, too. Huh? Oh, I see, see. Hey, go ahead. Uh, open the door. Walk right in. See, si, Senor. I'll be right behind you with this gun. That's the way to do it, Morehead. So he's the Cisco kid, eh? Yeah. Now, as soon as we get him tied up, we won't have to worry any more about him. I'll tie him for you. I just finished tying the fat one. Listen. Yeah. Yeah, that's the man we want, Clem. I'll go get him. Are you jealous? Yeah. That's right. You moorhead? Yeah. Now, Chellis, there's a couple of men in the back room I want you to take care of by dumping them down an old mine shaft. Then later you can get the sheriff. Whatever you say, boss. Just pay me my money now and then lead me to the Mombries. <laughs> Where these two hombres take us, Cisco? From what I overheard in the back room, Pancho, they're planning to throw us down the shaft to an old abandoned mine. Uh, Pancho not want to be thrown down the mine shaft and not with the hands and the feet tied like this. Neither do I, Chico, but at the moment there's not much we can do about it. All right, you two, no more talking. How much further is mine shaft, Clem? We're most there, Chellis. Sure we'll finish those two off to throw them down in there. The mine was abandoned because it tapped an underground river and flooded it. There'll be water enough in the bottom of that shaft to drown them. Good yeah. idea. I hope they'll ever find them down in there. Uh, Pancho not like the word of Cisco. Pancho not want to go no further. I told you we have no choice in the matter now, Pancho. Save your strength. Do not struggle so. Pancho not like to ride like this, neither. Or over loco, like a sack of meal. Here's the place, Jealous. Whoa. Oh, how are you doing? Uh, do not call loco in nag, hombre. Shut up. All right. Uh, there's the mouth of the mine shaft right over there, Jealous. It drops right down into the water. Yeah. Well, you better throw a stone down in there to make sure there's water. Sure will. Now, listen. <laughs> Hear that, Cisco. He's water, Cisco. Pancho not want to drown. Save your strength, I tell you, Pancho. Do not give up yet. Don't be dragged these hombres over there, Clem. Yep. Come on, you, Cisco. Down off that horse. Take his feet, Chellis. Got him. All right, now. Dump him down here, and we'll get the other one. Yep. Same way with this one. You take his feet. Here. Yeah. Bite under this hombre's fat and heavy. No, no, not that. Banjo, hombre. Not that. Banjo. All right, over with him. Very good. All right, now, Cisco. It's a good thing for you. Hombre's the lamb tied up like this. Over with him. Yeah. There, Chellis. That's the finish of the Cisco kid. <laughs> And indeed, it may well be the finish of our friends, Cisco and Pancho. In just a moment, we'll return to the Cisco Kid. the Cisco Kid in our gripping story, The Song of Death. Shortly after arriving in the town of Lodeville to help Sheriff Fitzpatrick run down the gang of high graders operating in the town, Cisco and Poncho were struck down, tied with rawhide bonds, and dumped down an old abandoned mine shaft to the water below. Now, in the blackness of the pit. Listen. 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 
Cisco, Cisco, pace like you swim. Pace go under the water, Cisco. Pace go under the water. Stand up on your feet, Pancho. Pace like you stand up on Pancho's feet. Cisco. Cisco. And if you will stop that thrashing and let your feet sink to the bottom, the water in this pit is only waist deep, Chico. Now let your feet down. Pancho, try, Cisco. Cisco, right, Cisco. The water only waist deep. There must be a lot of water to go all around Pancho's waist. There is not as much water in these old abandoned mine pits as one might suppose. I hope there would not be in this one. Yet there's enough water to stretch these rawhide ropes, which is what we want. Try to get your hands free now, amigo. Pancho, try, Cisco. Pancho, almost get out. Free, Cisco. See? My hands are nearly free, too. Just once more, and I think I will have it. Well, my hands are free, Pancho. Now I can help you. Pancho, free, too, Cisco. Water is a good thing for rawhide, no? Uh, it's good in this case, Pancho. Now reach down and see if you can get the ropes off your feet. Pancho, try, Cisco. Pancho, not can do it, Cisco. Pancho, I've got to get Pancho's head under the water. Pancho, I can do this. Of course you can do it, Pancho. Huh? You must do it. No. Hold your nose with one hand. Duck your head under the water and pull hard at that rawhide so it will stretch. I'm going to free myself right now. Cisco, how long do you stay under the water? Cisco! There. My feet are free. Uh, Pancho, not like this, but Pancho, hold the nose and try. <laughs> Mother of me, Pancho was trying to talk under the water. <laughs> What's the matter, Pancho? <laughs> Pancho, let go the nose so Pancho could breathe. Go. <laughs> <laughs> See, I thought you did something like that, Chico. Next time you will know better than to breathe underwater. Next time, Pancho, know better than get into the water. How will we get out of here, Cisco? That's just what I would like to know. One thing is certain. We cannot climb out because the walls of this shaft are smooth and go straight up. But there's a slight current in this water, Pancho. Hmm? That must mean that this is an underground river. See? It may lead to something. Ah, it's going to lead to something, Pancho. What, what, Cisco? What, 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 what? You see the glimmer of light, Chico? Hmm? Look, look, straight ahead. Mm -hmm. Pancho, see the light? What do you do, Chico? What do you do? What do you do? It's not daylight, you see, Pancho. No, no. It is light from a lamp or a candle. It must be coming from the pit of another mine. Now, wait slowly, Pancho. Don't make so much noise. Uh, wait slowly. Not too much noise. There are men there, Pancho. Careful now. Uh -huh. A few more steps and we will stop the little we can here. Gee, she's good. Now, wait right here. Uh -huh. well, sure, did. that's what Moorhead wanted me to call you together for, boys. To tell you to stop high grading out of the lucky lady mine for a while and to high grade out of the grub stake mine instead. Yeah, but the sheriff owns a grub stake mine, Clem. Well, what of it? The sheriff will be dead in another hour. Chellis here is going right back to town now to get the sheriff. Take him out of town and kill him. It's most dark now. It'll be dark by the time Jealous gets there. Yes, all, right. all right, so be ready to start work on the grub stake within 24 hours. That's all. Now get out of here. Oh, Let's go on. They go now, Cisco. See, so that hombre Chalice is going to kill the sheriff, is he? Mm -hmm. We'll see about that, Pancho. Come on. Come on, Pancho. How we get out of here, Cisco? Sometimes the planks in these bulkheads are loose. Mm -hmm. Good thing that glimmer of light showed us where that bulkhead is. It's dark now, Cisco. See, but we can test the bulkhead with our hands. Uh -huh. This blank is solid. It's solid. This one is loose. That one is loose. Pancho, huh? come over here, will you? Jesus, go. Now, lean your weight on this plank with me. Mm -hmm. Now, push. Uh -huh. Once more, amigo. Uh -huh. We will have it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, plank come loose, Cisco. Uh -huh. There it is. Uh -huh. Well... Now we can see what we are doing a little better. Uh -huh. The light comes down into this pit from the mouth of the shaft. You go first, Pancho. Me? Climb through into that mine pit. But Pancho, big Cisco, hold that big enough to go. I think you can make it, Chico. Yes, yeah, Cisco, but Pancho, big. Go on, go on. Uh, the, go on. Uh, Pancho, go through. Mm -hmm. Now, Cisco. Uh, well, well. Uh, uh, what does pit mean, Cisco? Huh? Uh, uh, Do not know, amigo. But there are two tunnels going in different directions. Me? With boulders piled high at the end of each of them. See? Yeah. Pancho, I believe that is the answer to all this high grading. What answer, Cisco? The high graders work from an abandoned mine pit like this one. Mm. They bore tunnels such as these to tap adjoining mines and steal the high grade ore. Wow. Then they cover up their getaway with boulders like that. Ah, bad hombres, Cisco, bad hombres. See, si, and speaking of bad hombres, we have a date with a couple of them, Pancho. A date with them? Now let's go up the shaft ladder, find our horses, and get to the sheriff's office. I hope we will not be too late to save his life. <laughs> Sheriff's office, all right. Howdy, 
Chelly, Sheriff. Yeah, Who are you? My name is Chelly, Sheriff. Maybe you've heard of it. I'm from Moby Shelby Town, we. Yeah, I've heard of you, Chellis. You're a gun. Well, <laughs> the summers calls me that. Oh, you want in here? I want you to come with me, Sheriff. Oh, you jawed on me, are you? That's right. Now, don't make a false move or I'll gun you down where you are. Get up out of that chair. <laughs> Guess I got no choice except to do what you say. Now, unbuckle your gun belt and let it drop. All right. Put your hands behind you and cross your wrists. What are you aiming to do, Chellis? Never mind. Just do what I say. No. I ain't making a move till you say what the idea is. So help me, you do as I say or I'll gun you down here. Now get them hands crossed behind your back before I count to three. One, two... Oh, come on, watch your uh, Sounds like you're going to be in for trouble, Chellis. Come in, come on, Clear up, Cisco. And grab his wrist just in time. Great snakes, it's Cisco. See you, I'll help you, Cisco. Can I see your chef? I do not need help with an hombre like no. this. <laughs> Oh, Cisco, I guess you don't. Hey, much obliged for getting here just when you did. We ride fast, you, Sheriff. Have your deputy put the leg irons on this hombre, Sheriff, and throw him in a cell. Then we will go to the cafe and get the ringleader of this gang of bandidos. That suits me fine, Cisco. Hey, deputy, come here. Who is the ringleader, Cisco? That hombre named Moorhead. What? John Moorhead? According to what we overheard, Senor Sheriff. Also, an hombre who is called Clem. Oh, that'd be Clem Morris. Well, I'll be doggone. Pancho will be doggone, too. And Pancho will be doggone if he not want to get his hands on those hombres, too, doggone. Put the irons on his hombre, Joe, and keep watch of him. All right, Cisco, let's go. Piano playing more head by way of celebrating. Right? By way of celebrating what? Well, Cisco and Ponce are out of the way, and by now, Chellis is on his way out of town with the sheriff. <laughs> well, uh, then I guess maybe the situation does call for a little music. All right? How about this, boys? It sure looks like it's clear sailing now, man. That's what we want, Clem. I told you that from now on, we was going to kill anyone that got in our way. Then you're going to have to do a lot of killing yet, hombre. Why don't you use the old woodwhip, just go? Ah, you like that, hombre? Ah, you like that, hombre? Get your hands up, you hombre. Not me. Very well, then. It will be a pleasure to deal with you myself. This time, I'll finish you off and keep this <laughs> going. I'll not be too sure of that, hombre. If I were you, for I do not agree with you. You're going to for me, sir. Okay. One for Pancho, too. I will do my best to oblige you. There is one for you, Sheriff. And here is one for you, Pancho. <laughs> Down he go. Not need no more. Well, this looks like a pretty good roundup. So you're in this too, are you, John? Yeah, prove it. See, we intend to prove it, hombre. And I think it will not take too much effort either. Unless I am mistaken, much of that high-grade ore is stored away in the pit of the last abandoned mine Pancho and I are in. No, no, hombre. You are all through fooling the law. Cisco! Say, Pancho, no more high grading in the town of Lodeville, huh? Ha <laughs> ha. Not from that gang anyway, amigo. No, no. They are all behind the bars where they belong. <laughs> then the law are not like those hombres, Cisco. No, 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 Pancho. The law does not like them. Definitely not. <laughs> is that like Pancho's Aunt Ines, Cisco? What do you mean, it's like your Aunt Ines? And Pancho's Aunt Ines, and not like Pancho's Uncle Jose no more. Oh, you mean she is angry at your Uncle Jose? Yes, Cisco, she mad like everything at Uncle Jose. Well, tell me, Pancho, what did your Uncle Jose do to make your Aunt Ines angry at him? Oh, it's not what he do, Cisco. No, it's what he say. Oh, well, what did he say? Well, the other night, Aunt Ines wake up, <laughs> and then she listened. <laughs> and then she wake up Uncle Jose. She woke up and then woke up your Uncle Jose, see, see. see? And then she say, Jose, I hear a mouse squeak. She said she heard a mouse squeak? Yes, yeah, she heard a mouse squeak. Well, what did your Uncle Jose say to that, Chico? Uncle Jose say, well, what do you want me to do, Inez? Get up and oil him? Oh, Pancho. 
Pinocchio! Oh, it's his go! Another exciting adventure with O. Henry's famous Robin Hood of the West, the Cisco Kid. 